Um, you almost made it. I have like 10 minutes tops. Don't even have a single slide. Some people would call me unprepared, but not me. I chose to not make slides. Definitely has nothing to do with not being prepared. Um, before I start, uh, I'm going to talk about Electron Fiddle, which is a new project in the Electron org that is supposed to make it a little easier to get started with Electron, to debug bugs with Electron, and to work on Electron itself. Um, so it's supposed to cover sort of the you know both ends of the user spectrum of Electron, both the very beginners. I want to make I want to make getting into Electron a lot easier than it is today, but also in the maintainers community, um, we needed something like that quite badly. And to be entirely honest with you, this whole project was born out of an extremely selfish need, which is that you receive a bug report and then you got to run it against 20 versions of Electron, including like a bunch of ones you built on your machine. Um, before I go any further, I'm just curious because we orchestrated this whole launch quite carefully. Who has heard of Electron Fiddle? Okay, that's a lot better than like no one, given that's about 10 days old. Um, so I'm just going to launch the whole project and then I'm going to show you what it roughly is. So um, this is Electron Fiddle. Um, if you open it up, it greets you with three editors, uh, the left one being the main process, the right one being the renderer process, and at the bottom we have some HTML. Um, and this mirrors roughly, if you've ever used it, the Electron Quick Start. And the idea here is quite simple. The idea is that you start with those three editors. If you don't get any other ones, it's always going to be those three files. And you can quickly and very easily choose one of the Electron versions that you want to work on, of which we have quite a few. Um, so you choose an Electron version you want to work on. Uh, in my case, I don't know, let's go with actually 3.0 is fine. Um, you hit run, and what Electron Fiddle does, it immediately runs that little application. So far, so easy. Um, let's jump through a few other scenarios. Um, the, first one is, the first one is that you can go ahead and uh, publish this whole thing if you feel like it. Um, but before we go there, let me, let me go through some of the tasks. I'm going to start with show me. Um, I have personally handcrafted examples for every single API that is an Electron. Not all of them are as, as detailed as I would like them to be, but let's say, uh, you know, for example, sake, you're super interested in the desktop capturer. You're wondering how that works. You select that and you can like quickly run that and see the API it worked, right? And you can go ahead and close that again if you want to. You can change the thing. Um, it's gonna be like really creative about something I wanna change, but let's say you just wanna title this, give this a different title. Just wanna say hi. You can run it again and the whole thing has changed again, right? And in this case, this is the desktop capture, which by the way, allows all kinds of really cool things if you've never used it. Uh, it's quite performant actually. Okay, so uh, you know, now I build all this. Um, maybe I found an interesting bug. What I could do now is I could just hit this publish button. And now the whole thing is up on gist.github.com. Um, thanks to the nature of gist, let me just show you some of those. Thanks to the nature of gists, uh, what is real convenient is you don't actually need fiddle to load this, obviously, right? It's not necessarily necessary to go ahead and like half fiddle just to see all the code. And honestly, if you're reporting a bug with Electron, this is, this is the ultimate dream because we can actually go in and check out what is broken in your version, if it's just your code, if it's your platform, if it's something else, um, really makes it quite easy for us. But there's a, few other things that, uh, there's a few other things that are hidden here that I like quite a bit. Um, let me just, let me just actually go back and like make a new one. Um, there we go. We can actually quit this. Okay. So the first one is that um, the way we're bootstrapping Electron is a little bit faster than you normally would, right? If you just clone Electron Quick Start, you need to install Electron, which takes forever. In this case, it's using a shared binary, meaning that once you download Electron, a certain Electron version once, you have it forever, and Electron Fiddle will use it forever, meaning that this launch is a lot faster. Right? One thing you've surely noticed is that if I just select another version here and I hit run, um, that there is no action installation process here because I already use Electron. The obvious next question that I get from many people is how do you actually deal with uh, installing anything? And the answer is quite simple. You just go and do. So the first one is I'm just going to require a module here, one that I normally wouldn't have. With like one hand, it's real hard, but we'll get there together. We can do this. Okay. So this is a simple example. I'm just installing, say, if you now hit run, uh, Fiddle is actually smart enough to realize that you try to install a module that is not a default, right? Not something like FS or anything else. 
and has now installed that module. So my use of it is quite boring. It just locked the module, module to file, but the point here is that you don't really even need to worry about NPM modules. We will install them automatically. They will just be there. You don't need to worry about them. Um, next feature, and that's something that's very close to my heart, is uh, that we automatically install types for the current version of Electron, right? So a good example would be, let's just go to 185 right here. Um, if I now type main window, Electron Fiddle has actually typings for that version of Electron installed, and it knows that load file, for instance, is not available. It knows that I've used that in another one, but as you can see from that like, little, little like, icon right there, it knows that that thing does not actually exist, right? It's defined as any. But if I go and switch over to, let's say, Electron 3, it now knows what load file is and can even explain to you what that means, uh, meaning if you ever are in the same position as me where you're like, I wonder what that event is named, that thing knows for each version of Electron, which makes things a lot easier, at least in the beginning, right? Because I've been working on Electron for like, what, four years now? And I don't think I've remembered, I memorized all of the events. I certainly haven't. Now, um, the actual trick, and I think this is quite cool. Uh, how many of you had real trouble packaging your first Electron app? Is it like anyone? Seth, thank you, Christine. How many of you have packaged the other way around? How many of you have built a custom build step for your Electron apps? How is that no one? How do you package your apps? What? Fascinating. Okay, we should all have a conversation after because this is exciting. Um, long story short, if you have an experiment, you can go to tasks and you can package a fiddle which will use the excellent Electron Forge made by Marshall of Sound in the back. Uh, and it will basically install uh, Electron Forge and give you, um, give you built binaries. And this is not something I can send to my grandparents and they will be really proud because they have no idea what JavaScript is, but they can run this, right? Without making any other steps. All right. Uh, and then obviously the last part is that I can take any existing fiddles, I can just plug them in here and it's gonna load them. And then I can just run this fiddle and then I have a fiddle running like this one. This is one of the example fiddles. Um, so that's about it. Does anybody have any questions about this? Except maybe how do I contribute? Because it is open source, it's an Electron org. Please help us out if you have any feelings about this. It really helps us to grow the community. So uh, yeah, thanks. Pardon, could you repeat that? We install latest. Yeah. So we're being, we're being, sorry, the question was, do you install a specific version for the packages? We just install latest. Um, 